Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the German Law Journal, where today we have some exciting news to share with you. Along our long-standing published content, written content, we'll bring to you videos and podcasts as of now. Now, the German Law Journal in many ways is a very classical law journal. It is peer-reviewed, it is edited by students at an American law school, and it is one of the most widely read journals in comparative European and international law. At the same time, there are a few features that set the JLJ apart from other journals. For instance, it's online only and we're committed to open access, meaning that there, sh there aren't any barriers to publishing or to reading our content. It's free for authors and it's free for readers, and this commitment is at the core of our DNA. The German Law Journal first started as a transatlantic newsletter on developments in German law. At the time, this was not just a fast way to get the fresh content out. When everybody was still using modems to go online, it was also something that was easily accessible to everyone. And those two factors, speed and accessibility, are still very important to us as we are now a journal with Cambridge University Press. Now, because we're an online-only journal, we're extremely flexible. And that means whenever a groundbreaking decision or judgment comes out, we can put together a special issue in no time and have it published and turned around in a couple of weeks only. And because the content is available open access, it can be very easily cited and, and read and accessed. This means that peer-reviewed articles on comparative European and international law can be read all over the world in no time, in real time. This makes the German Law Journal an inherently democratic project. Now that we have flat rates instead of modems, it only seemed natural to also use these new digital possibilities for the German Law Journal and to add video content. And we came up with two video formats, GLJ Shorts and GLJ Specials. One of the core features of the JLJ is that we select two or three special issue proposals that we think will be outstanding or cutting edge contributions to their field every year. Now, JLJ videos are a great way to access such a special issue. You meet the guest editors who've curated the issue, you find out why they think this research is topical, they share the challenges they've encountered, and what the most important insights are. GLJ shorts are ideally just about five minutes long. This is where our authors present their articles in a nutshell. What is the article about? Why does this matter? And why now? And where do we go from here? Having to say what your article is about in just one or two minutes is really hard, but it also really makes the article's findings shine. And in a time where the internet is so full of information, it is important that you're able to say why this piece of research matters and why it matters now. And we also add about you questions at the end, which is a great way to meet the person behind the researcher. Now to start off, we have two special issues that we have produced videos for, showing off the wide range of the scholarship that is published with the JLJ. The first one is a special issue on border justice. It tackles developments that happen right now. They bring together a fantastic cast of experts on European and international law, and these experts find new and creative ways to address accountability gaps at the border. The second special issue is a special issue on social legal studies in the UK and in Germany. And it's a really innovative project that turns methods of social legal studies onto the field itself, looking at the various approaches in their legal and institutional contexts. We really hope that you enjoy our new content formats and that you watch our videos, that you subscribe to our podcast and that you use them to decide which of our articles you want to read first. Please tell us what you think and thank you for watching.